When I think about the 2324 Tar Heels, the first name that comes to mind is Jack Cobb. Of course, I'm talking about the 1923-24 Tar Heels, the team that won Carolina's first men's basketball national championship 100 years ago this month. If you've been to the Smith Center, you've probably seen their accomplishments hanging up in the rafters. Jack Cobb, the star player from Durham, was especially elite. He's one of only eight Tar Heels to have his jersey retired. Cobb and his teammates didn't have numbers on their jerseys, but they still put up big numbers on the court. They were undefeated at 26-0 and scored nearly twice as many points as their opponents did over the season. The Tar Heels beat teams who had become longtime rivals, as well as some who we'd never see on the schedule today. They beat UVA 33-20, then as now, a low-scoring game. And they swept Duke that season, but you wouldn't know it at first glance. This was when the school was still known as Trinity College and wouldn't be renamed as Duke until later that year. Before the Smith Center, Carmichael, and even Woolen Gym, the 1923-24 team played in a building known as the Tin Can. It was newly built and in one game hosted more than 3,000 spectators at the time, a record crowd to see a basketball game in Chapel Hill. At the end of the regular season, in February 1924, the team headed to Atlanta for the Southern Conference Tournament. This was still three decades before the ACC would be formed. This was also three decades before Carolina was integrated and more than 40 years before the first black player joined the men's varsity basketball team. On the court in Atlanta, the Heels kept up their winning ways, defeating Alabama 26-18 to to win the Southern Conference title. When news of the big win reached Chapel Hill by telegraph, students gathered around the old well to sing Hark the Sound, and then they rushed Franklin Street, but they didn't stop there. A large group of students, including members of the band, marched all the way to Durham to celebrate. There was no NCAA tournament, no media polls in 1924, so it wasn't until 1943 when the Helms Foundation retroactively awarded national championships that the Tar Heels were recognized as the true national champions for the 1923-24 season. 1924 is still celebrated alongside the six and counting national championships that have come since. This was the year that Carolina basketball really took off. A century later, there are no signs of slowing down. Go Heels.